Hello everyone, and in this video, we are gonna be walking through how you are able to take a Docker image that you build and move this into an AWS Elastic Container Repository Registry. And so if you're familiar with Docker Hub, this is the exact same idea, just AWS's version of it, where once you build something either through some kind of CI CD pipeline or you know on your local computer, you're gonna to wanna to save the output of that build, which is your Docker image you wanna run as a container somewhere. And in future videos, we'll also be walking through how you can then grab those finished build artifacts, the Docker images, and then actually run them as Docker containers through something like Kubernetes with the AWS ECS service. So this is kind of the first step in this entire process. And so what I'm gonna be doing is walking through a little example here where I have a little code repository, a little service that I've been working on that is a Docker, uh, it is Dockerized. So um, in my case, if I just run this command Docker compose up, you can see that uh, I have Docker already running on my uh, little MacBook here. And so if I were go, if I go to uh, Firefox and I go to localhost, I can see that um, it is my little service. And when I click login, I can, uh, you know, go through these login messages and authenticate to my web app. But um, that's not the point. The point is we've got this little Docker app um, and we want to save this in AWS land so that AWS can then host it for us uh, through ECS. But first step to that is ECR. So I'm going to press control C in my terminal to stop this process. And so um, I'm also going to navigate here to uh, the AWS uh, console. And so I've authenticated and a lot of this stuff is free tier. Just make sure you know those limits before you uh, get too deep into this. Otherwise you'll be paying a big bill. Um, but this is the AWS ECR service. You can just go up to this tap, top search thing here and, and find it. Um, and so, you know, if you just jump right into this, um, you're going to run into issues right off the gate because the first thing you need to do to actually uh, get your Docker image from your local Mac up to ECR is you need to have some kind of permissions in place. And so what we want to do here is we want to create an IAM user uh, for ECR. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to users and we're going to click on add user and we're gonna give this thing a descriptive username. So in my case, I'm working on a site called you know, Spark Clinical, um, and this is specifically the uh, ECR admin uh, role. So I'm just gonna to try to make the name fairly descriptive. And in my case, I'm going to make sure that we are generating credentials that will let this user uh, actually upload stuff into the ECR service of AWS. So I'm going to click on this access key, programmatic access. We're gonna to go to permissions, and um, I'm going to click on attach existing policies directly. And now this is something where um, you need to look this up, but I've already done that. And there's this thing called uh, EC2 container registry. Hopefully that comes up. Let me just copy this thing in here. So this guy right here, we can expand it before we give it. Um, but basically, if you look at this JSON, um, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be granting uh, the policy that lets this specific IAM uh, user have the ability to uh, control everything in ECR. And we're also going to be logging stuff in CloudTrail for it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to be granting that. Um, if you are working in a production environment, make this as follow the principle of least privilege, obviously, only give it access to the specific uh, ECR resources that it needs, nothing more in case you get hacked or something. But you know, for sake of a little demo here, this is the policy that would let me be able to uh, upload something into uh, that account. So I'm going to create that, I'm gonna tag it. Um, I'm not gonna do any tags right now, um, but you can see that we now have this username created. We're gonna click on create user and um, Next up here is we're gonna get an access key ID. So we're gonna copy that and I'm going to uh, paste this somewhere where I can use it later on. And I'm also going to copy the secret access key. I'm gonna delete this account afterwards or a uh, user so you guys can't use it. So you have to make your own in your own AWS account. Um, but now that I've got these things created, I'm going to click on close. And so now we've got an IAM user that would let us upload stuff to ECR. Now we can go to ECR. So just type in ECR right here. It's the Elastic Container Registry. And in our case, what we wanna do is we're going to uh, click on this guy. Uh, I'm just gonna click on Get Started. 
and we want to make a private repo. And so, um, you know, you can call this thing whatever you want. Uh, in my case, I want to call this uh, Spark Clinical uh, Docker Images. And um, it's going to be private. I'm not going to have any of these other things set. I'm just going to basically leave everything as is. If you were very concerned about security, you could have your own KMS encryption keys uh, to protect this, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to create this repository and it's pretty quick. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the actual repo. And um, if we move over here, you can click on this little button here. It says view push commands. And this is a really helpful thing. Um, and I'm using Mac, but they do tell you the ones for Windows. And so um, in our case, it's going to uh, tell you what commands to run in order to make this all work. So I'm going to go to PyCharm right now and I'm going to clear this. And um, I've already installed the AWS command line interface, the CLI tool locally on this Mac using Homebrew. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, I can show you guys how to do that in a separate video, but um, you know, check if you already have the AWS command line by doing that. If you get a response, then great. Um, if not, go through Homebrew. Um, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna run the command AWS configure. And basically what it's doing is it's going to ask me to put in uh, the credentials and I just created that IAM user, so I'm going to now put in that IAM user's access key and secret access key here. So I'm going to paste that in, and I'm also going to, again, uh, paste in the secret access key that will be deleted as soon as this video is over. Um, and then the default region. Um, so if we go back to uh, this guy, just wanna double check here that we are in Ohio, which is US East 2. Um, make sure that you are sticking to a consistent uh, region when you're doing this stuff. Otherwise, you know, you might get mixed up, but we're going to not change that. We're not going to change the output format. And so now what we've done is we've supplied the IAM user credentials to the AWS CLI client on our Mac. And now this is going to let us actually upload from this local Mac to uh, the AWS uh, ECR, the basically Docker Hub uh, for AWS. Um, and if you were doing this through GitLab, like if you're trying to make a, a CI CD pipeline or something like that, um, these are some things that you would save as environment variables that your, your GitLab runner would have access to when it's going through the process of actually building your app and trying to upload it. So these are all things we're doing manually um, just so that you can see it when it works in an automated fashion, um, all the little pieces that are going on. So um, we've now authenticated with our client. And so uh, the cool thing there is that we can now basically run through these commands um, and paste this stuff in here. So we're going to basically generate a token for this specific repo that we just created. So I'm going to go back to PyCharm. We're just gonna paste these in, hit enter, and give it a second. So we've now successfully authenticated with AWS. So that's a big thing. If you're having trouble with that, go back to that IAM user, make sure you've given it the correct credentials, make sure you've got the correct uh, access key and secret access key inside of the uh, configuration for the AWS CLI tool. Um, and then we're literally just gonna follow these steps. So we're gonna copy that, paste it in here. So we're going to go through the steps of basically building this Docker uh, container that we have uh, locally. So we're creating an, a Docker image, the build artifact. So gonna give this thing a second to finish up on there. Okay. And now we're going to uh, tag that image, paste that guy in. And finally, we're going to actually upload this stuff now to AWS. And so you can see right now it's going through the process of actually shipping all this stuff into ECR, into that repo that we just created inside of AWS uh, for our service. So we're gonna give this thing a minute. So now we've successfully uploaded all of this uh, Docker image that we just built locally to ECR. So now if I go to uh, the, East, the Amazon console here and I'm going to close this guy out, um, I'm going to go back to AWS ECR I'm just going to click on uh, this guy and I'm going to click on the private registries. And so, um, sorry, I'm just go back to registries here. Um, you can see now that we have successfully uploaded this guy. And you can see that uh, the one that we just uploaded came through with 75 megs. Um, and it is the latest version of that. So um, this is how you get your Docker image built locally and uploaded to AWS ECR. The next step in this process is actually going to be linking this up with uh, ECS, the uh, Elastic Kubernetes Service um, or Container Service so that we are able to now deploy this thing. But I'm gonna stop it here just as video doesn't get too long, but I hope this is helpful stuff. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you're doing well.